Welcome back to Elsinore. Last episode, we got concrete proof that we can present to people that we are going to be invaded. So first thing I want to do, since we're at the start of a brand new loop, is let's go speak with Bernardo and present them with the concrete evidence and see what happens. Oh, right, this. I know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You stopped my pathfinding to Bernardo, father. Fortinbras will invade. Bernardo. I know for certain that Lord Fortinbras is going to invade, violating the peace treaty. What do you mean? I'm a little early, I suppose. He hasn't heard anything about this yet. Oh. Hmm. Do I have to wait till after they get the news? I think they get the news pretty soon. It, it is today that they get it. Uh, never mind. It'll make sense later, perhaps. Goodbye. Step outside and enjoy the sunlight a little more. Don't go the way of Hamlet. I need at least one sane friend. I think if I just wait here for a little bit, a messenger will come by. Right? Like, yeah, this is the message. Greetings. Voltamon, am I to assume this is the latest on Fortinbras and his men? Yes. Okay, now that that's done, can I speak with them about it again? Or do I need to restart the loop? Well, I guess I can mention Fortinbras hideout. That's a separate topic. Yeah, okay. Bernardo. I have proof of Fortinbras' plan to betray Denmark. He's hiding out in Castletown. Ophelia. You... Ophelia? Uh, my deepest pardons, could you repeat that? I thought you said... You heard correctly. Fort Bra is hiding out in Castletown as we speak. He and his officers are in disguise near the tavern, in a small apartment. If we act immediately and send men to arrest them, we may be able to stop their coup in its tracks. I believe you. That look in your eye... It frightens me to no end. I see. Regretfully, I am unable to perform such an action without the king and Polonius's explicit consent. As his advisor, your father must be consulted in situations like these. I'll call a war council immediately. If possible, I request that you allow your father and me to break this news to the king. He may not trust your word on this matter. I want to be present at that meeting. That's impossible. My apologies, my lady. Hmm. Well, upon second thought, it's only impossible if the king knows of your presence. Ah. So you'll allow me to observe in secret? You're certainly small enough to hide nicely. That's a compliment? One of the rare benefits. Goodbye. Come to the king's room when the meeting convenes. We'll speak further then. Okay, when is that event? King holds court about recent events. That would be the event, right? Oh no. It's later. So probably nothing of any particular importance is going to come up here. I don't know. Isn't Fortinbra mentioned in this king holding court about recent events? Like, isn't... I remember during that event, Bernardo... <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing as of anything in the game. <laughs> Our new baby cat that we got, they're about four months old, named Pippa. They are, I heard them making noise like behind my desk. So I kind of discreetly tried to poke them with my foot while I was reading dialogue in the game, hoping to make them go away. But instead they just started playing with my foot and clawing at it. <laughs> Where do they even go now? Oh, they're just in the corner. All right, they're out of my computer cords. That's good enough. Um, yeah, during the King Holding Court about recent events, I'm pretty sure that's where Bernardo mentions that, hey, we got this letter from Fortinbra. They plan on crossing Denmark. Is that okay? Peace treaty, blah, blah, blah. So I think I want to be there for that. I can't imagine Bernardo's just going to hold their tongue until later. Maybe. Speaking of... Actually, 
not speaking of, because this has nothing to do with it, with what I was just talking about. Now that I'm this early on in the story, is there something I can do to make Polonius not burn the goddamn things? Oh, right. I was going to tell the king about it. Tell the king that Polonius, my, my plan, my best idea for how to possibly get the uh, notes left by Hamlet in Polonius's chest is to tell the king about it. I'm assuming the king is then going to probably confiscate them from Polonius. And then hopefully I can, I guess, sleep with the king again. I really don't want to, but hopefully I can get into the king's chambers somehow. Hopefully an alternative way that doesn't require sleeping with him again. And then perhaps I could get the notes. But step one, let's see how the king will react to being told about the notes. I can't talk to you during the event, right? Yeah. Now I can. We can mention the notes, right? So I could tell the king directly about the Fordenbras hideout. Bernardo said that they should be the one to tell them. They might not believe it. Um, the king might not believe it coming from Ophelia's mouth. So I guess I won't, but I'm curious what it would do. Mm, what my father burned. Yes. Ah, this dialogue is to hint that our father might be the spy. Wow. So if I say this, I'm just like really throwing my father under a bus or under a horse drawn carriage, I guess, in this time period. I mean, they're going to die anyway. Sorry, father. I, uh... I saw my father burning some documents in his room. You were saying about a spy. What? Documents? Of what origin? No, it matters not. Whatever he has to hide, all roads must be pursued. Uh. I'll have Bernardo bring your father in for a conversation immediately. Polonius now believes that Bernardo wishes to meet. Learn about a future event in which Bernardo questions father. I mean, this sounds like the same event that happens when we tell father that Bernardo wants to meet them. Is this somehow different, or is it just the same thing? Bernardo questions father. Hmm. Well, they're going to hold court in here, so let's see what's talked about. Ah, yes, this is different. My king... I have new reason to dispute the belief that Fordenbra's intent in crossing Denmark is peaceful. When we convene the small war council in private, we ought to discuss further. But not here. Not now. Privacy is critical in this, my lord. Very well. We shall convene later. Okay, so then everything else is going to be the same. In that case... Right, Lertes is going to leave for Paris... Do I have any particular reason I want them to stay right now? No. I'm really just laser focused on the whole Fort and Bra thing right now. I do want to be there when Bernardo questions my father. Is this going to be different than how we saw it before? Because I think we've been here for this conversation before. How can I help? Is this what the king... Uh -huh. You know as well as I how rattled he's been lately, the king that is. And as you're the man closest to him, I must ask you what you know of any threats to the crown. Yeah, this is the same conversation. That's the same. Okay, this is different now. The first part of the conversation I think was the same. But this is different. I'll be curt, Lord Polonius. We have it on good word that you were spotted discarding documents in private. Was King Claudius ever privy to these documents? And if not, what cause would you have to hide them? I, I cannot say. My word prevents me. I see. You must understand how this appears, my lord. You, the king's most trusted advisor, withholding this during wartime. I'm no spy, Bernardo. The 
Then prove it. Tell me what was in those documents. You've brought this upon yourself, then. Whatever the king decides. Were I you, I'd prepare to make a statement before his majesty. One which is better than what you just told me. Oh god, what will become of me? Hmm. Bernardo now believes that Polonius is the spy. Philia learns about a future event in which Bernardo places father under arrest. Polonius, uh, learn about a future event in which Polonius destroys old and dangerous documents. Are they still going to be, a wait, are they still going to be allowed to roam free? Are they about to go destroy the documents right now? They are. Why? Hmm. That seems very strange. If Bernardo honestly believes that they're the spy, why would they allow them to go free and potentially cover up their tracks however much they can? That's bizarre. Bernard is going to place father under arrest later today. <laughs> That's weird. The crime that they think Polonius is guilty for is worthy of death, probably. Punishable by death, and yet they're like, eh, we'll arrest you after dinner. Um, I mean, I can't, I don't think I can stop my father. Oh, I can't even talk to them if they're upset, right? Yeah, no point. Alright, so that obviously really doesn't work. Then, War Council. Hold on, Bernardo, why are you talking to me as if I'm the wall? Well then, my lady, please take caution. Conceal yourself and make no noise or word. What the hell, is Polonius going to be here too? His majesty would certainly not appreciate me allowing a lady of the court into a meeting like this. I'll merely listen and remain concealed. My thanks, Bernardo. <clears throat> My lord, are you present? Your highness. In short, we are in danger. Oh, yeah, sorry, I just remembered that Polonius, uh, Bernardo needs explicit consent from both the king and Polonius. So for now, since Bernardo has delayed arresting our father, they want Polonius to be a part of the meeting, I guess? More of this Prince Fortinbra business. An eminent thorn in my side, that one. Fortinbra. Prince Fortinbra has no intentions beyond our lands. He wants to take the Danish throne. His request to cross Danish lands is a ruse. He hides out now in town with a small group of officers. <laughs> Not all this again. I understand that none of us are used to trusting Norway, but they are our allies now. We must keep the faith. Hasty moves have lost us many a battle in the past. My lord. I beg of you, something like this should be simple to verify. Allow me to take my men into town. If all is as we believe it to be, we will come away with Prince Fortinbra as prisoner. And if not, there will be nothing to fear. We can frame it as a routine investigation of the town's seedier alleyways. There can be no harm in investigating. Mm. So be it. Keep your profile low. Of course, my lord. Of course. Ah. And one last thing. If you come away empty-handed, there shall be no more talk of pulling peace agreements with Norway, now or evermore. This sort of thing has the power to grow from rumor to dangerous absolute if we do not either confirm it or hinder it at the knees. I get the feeling this means I'm going to have to make sure they find something and maybe it sounds like there's a chance they won't find something. Perhaps Fortinbra won't be there yet or... Yeah, maybe they just won't be there yet. 
Yes, my lord. If this town investigation bears no fruit, I think that's wise. Mm. Let us be done with this then. Of course. <sighs> Thank goodness. Sounds like everyone's collectively come to their senses. Bernardo and his men should mobilize soon. Here's hoping they find Fortinbra. Then there won't be a coup. Learn about a future event in which Bernardo and his men form a plan of attack. And another event in which Bernardo and his men search for Fortinbra. Okay, when are these happening? Ah, like now. And then later tonight, right after they arrest Polonius, then they're going to search for Fortinbra. Where's this happening in the guard chambers, I assume? Oh, here? Alright. Wait, is it over here? Aha! What's this? What's all this about, Captain? Hmm. We're operating on a special request from the King to find Prince Fortinbra. We have recent cause to believe the Prince is hiding out in town. Fortinbra? Why that lion conniving dog? This will take the form of an ordinary sweep, raise no alarm, and mention nothing of our business. If we do find him, bringing him under arrest is our first priority. And if we find nothing, it is the king's desire that we give the townspeople nothing to fear. Aye. Now then. The five of us will lead the initial foray, but the rest of the castle guard will be swift to follow. I'm confident that we're well staffed to handle this endeavor. We'll quickly overtake whatever cohort Fortinbras has. And then, gonna place my father under arrest. I should be there for that to see what happens. Unlikely event. Polonius destroys old and dangerous documents. Hmm, I wonder why that would be unlikely. Is it because... Polonius already destroyed old and dangerous documents. It is hard to destroy old and dangerous documents when you've already destroyed old and dangerous documents. Ah, <sighs> anyway, where's this happening? Polonius's chambers makes sense. Lord Polonius, my final request: show me those documents. Look upon the hearth. You'll see the remains of them there. I see. Then I'm here to place you under arrest, my lord. Of course. Of course you are, as I knew you would be. Please come with me. I expect I won't have to have my men take you to your cell in chains. <sighs> come now, Bernardo. We're both gentlemen here. I find even the quarry offensive. I'll go gladly. I apologize. You needn't be here for this if you don't want to. Of course I'll go too. Father, he's putting on such a face. He's terrified. Uh. Well then. I trusted you. My brother trusted you. How could it have come to this? It is precisely because of the trust your brother and I had for one another that we are standing here now. Ugh. Pretty words, but treason is treason. You've been smuggling information about our comings and goings to our enemies. And for that reason, you shall stay here as long as you live. Even despite your station, house arrest is too kind, something something, sorry I accidentally skipped it. Very well, my lord. Here I shall remain. Father, this is insane. Just show them the notes. I know you're not a spy. Why must you be so stubborn? My love. For your own sake, you'd better not speak to me again. Go. Please, go and leave me in peace. Father. He'll do anything to protect King Hamlet's legacy. But even now, he's going too far. Polonius shatters and will not recover. King Claudius now believes that Polonius is a spy. Mm. 
Ah, this updated the quest, finally. The Lost Notes Now Ash quest, or lead. It's been a while since that's been updated. Everybody's leaving, and I can't... Uh, Father, it's my fault you're here. Don't say that, my love. My faults and my actions are my own. It is by my hand that I am here. By your hand, perhaps, but I'm the one who tipped that hand. Yeah, this feels really, really bad. So, where is that quest? I've learned that by telling others about the burned documents, Father will be imprisoned, but I'm still no closer to learning about what those notes contain. I wonder if there's something I'm missing, that's in bold, which might help me here. Yeah, I... F hmm. There's something I'm missing. I feel like the something I'm missing might be that I need to follow up on other leads first, perhaps? So, what's next? Ah, Bernardo and his men are searching for Fortinbras. Sh shit, I don't know if I get there in time. Ooh, that's pretty far away. Uh-oh. Gate's locked, Sictus must have stepped out. Hopefully he'll return shortly. Shit. Hmm. Cygnus stepped out to be part of the search, so if I want to be there for the search, I need to leave. I need to leave and, and be in Castletown before they before they leave. Well, well, well. I guess. I guess I'll wait for Bernardo to. I guess Bernardo's back. I'm gonna be like, hey, what up? You're busy? Standing? I don't think there's any way I can just say, hey, what up, though. <laughs> so... Hmm... Bah! No. Okay. Men, something unusual has happened today in capturing Prince Fortinbra. This may seem advantageous to us, but I anticipate it is only an omen of more to come. All of you are to be on highest guard over the next few days. Any sign of suspicious activity, any outbreaks of violence in town, relay them to me personally. Do you all understand? Aye, Captain. course, Captain. Good. Dismissed. Ophelia. I'll need to let the others know of your father's arrest. Please, come with me. Lead the way. I bring news. I bring rather unfortunate news. We have uncovered certain suspicious behavior which warranted an arrest. Lord Polonius was arrested and charged with treasonous activity. He is in custody now. <gasps> Lord Polonius? But he's long been faithful to both of my husbands, and to me. It cannot be. I'm afraid so, my lady. And were it not for Ophelia's involvement, I'd never have known. I ought to have known he would turn on me. He always was more faithful to my brother. How blind I was. He must be punished to the fullest extent, just as any scoundrel would be. Of course. He is in the dungeon now. As soon as I have more information to share, I shall bear it to you all. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. So now basically everybody believes Polonius is the spy. Hmm. It's unlikely that Polonius will destroy old and dangerous documents, so we got one of those floating events that's always in front of us. 
What now? How do I figure out what happened in town? I missed the damn event. Where did Bernardo go? Oh, they're in Castletown. Oh, are they, are they doing the performance right now? Mm-hmm. Don't you dare stop me. Fuck you. Ah, oh, yeah. It is or was the performance. Hmm. I think this might be the end of what I want to do for this timeline, because I'm... Hey, Maple. Hey, Cleocatra. Because I missed the event in Castletown, I really want to be there for that. But I do want to know if something, like, somebody comes to get me because something interesting happened later. So, actually, oh, 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 oh. Perhaps I should head to the walls. I probably won't make it today, but that's something I could do for the next days. Just hang out on the walls. Until something like that happens. That's the Herald's Horn. This is an unusual time for an announcement. I ought to go see. Hmm. I just had the thought of... If Polonius is locked up, they're not going to be in there to eavesdrop on Hamlet and Gertrude, so what's going to happen with them? Are they going to end up killing each other again? My apologies. My lords and ladies, sudden news, mm-hmm. Uh. My men and I learned earlier of a Norwegian plot to overthrow his majesty and bring about the subjugation of Denmark. Prince Vortenbra, Prince Vortenbra aimed to violate his peacetime agreement with us in the name of bloody revenge. Okay, so you found something. <laughs> However, thanks to some well-timed information, we were able to stop him in his tracks and bring him under arrest. He's now safely contained in Elsinore's dungeon, down in the casemates? Down in the casemates? I've never heard that term before. Oh, just looked it up. A casemate was... Uh, this is from Wikipedia, by the way. A casemate was originally a vaulted chamber, usually constructed underneath the rampart. That's a, some part of a castle, I think. It was intended to be impenetrable and could be used for sheltering troops or stores. Yeah, so I think it's just a sort of underground-ish, heavily fortified dungeon is basically what it is. Huh. Why, well, we'll make a show of force to old King Norway, bedridden back home. Send his nephew home in chains. Show him what happens to unruly boys who cannot learn to act with civility. <sighs> Regrettably, I remain unconvinced this is the end of anything. This is merely the beginning. I do not believe Prince Fortinbras has any intentions of relenting. The wise thing to do would be to execute him as an enemy of the state. However, were we to do so, we would invoke the wrath of his uncle, the King of Norway. There is no simple solution. All this is but a temporary peace. Hold nothing back. Let us prepare for a longer fight. Yes. I leave it in your hands, Bernardo. I'll have word sent to rally all troops who would hear the call. Until then, everyone... Please remain vigilant. Learn more about Prince Fortinbras' threat. Fortinbras in prison. If I give the War Council the information, Bernardo is able to find him and overwhelm him, overwhelm him in town. As long as Norway's prince is in our hands, they won't dare mobilize against us. Could this actually work? I'd be very surprised. I think we should go speak with Fortinbras. Shan't we? What is Lady Brit up to? You got a little busy to symbol over you, not to mention, I imagine Brit is probably a bit shocked at the news, no? Oh, actually, there's an event happening in the dungeon. I wonder if Brit's going there. Actually, no, Lady... Oh, wait, no, the... is that where you need to go to get into the dungeon? It is, isn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> 